Good morning, today's lesson is 1.7. Today we are gonna be subtracting whole numbers. Our essential question, how can you subtract a whole number? Let's unlock the problem. Mount Bear and Mount Bono were two mountains in Alaska. Mount Bear is 14,831 feet tall and Mount Bona is 16,421 feet tall. How much taller is Mount Bona than Mount Bear? Well, you can estimate, and in estimating, uh, 16, 16,421 is close to 16,000, and 14,831 is close to 15,000. So 16,000 minus 15,000 is 1,000. So now we're going to subtract the actual number, 16,421 minus 14,831. So first we're going to need to subtract the ones. So we're going to line them up because that's super important. You want to make sure you line them up, and they don't, they do show lining it up here but you want to make sure that you line up your ones that you line. so if I, I'm gonna write it for us because I want to make sure we remember so we want to line up our ones line up our tens place line up our hundreds line up our thousands and then line up our ten thousands when we're subtracting it's super important that we do this so first we're going to subtract the ones and we're going to need to regroup so one minus one is zero but I'm going to need to regroup to subtract the tens because I can't take two from three so I'm gonna need to regroup and I'm gonna have to take the hundreds and I'm gonna need to re I'm gonna regroup so instead of four hundreds and two tens I'm gonna have three hundreds and twelve tens right so I'm gonna put my twelve up here and twelve minus three is nine so that part is 90. Step two, now I'm gonna regroup to subtract the hundreds because, sorry that glitched, because I can't take four away from eight, so I'm gonna need to regroup. So now I'm gonna, instead of having six thousands and um, the three hundreds, I'm gonna have five thousands and I'm gonna have 13 hundreds. So now 1,300 hundreds minus 8 hundreds is 500. And next I'm going to do step 3. And step 3 is to subtract the 10 thousands. So now I have the, because remember I borrowed from here, I have 5,000 minus 4,000, which is 1,000. And then in my 10 thousands place, there's nothing because 1 minus 1 is 0. So, um, Mount Bona is 1,590 feet taller than Mount Bear. And since 1,590 is close to the estimate of 1,000, the answer is reasonable. So one way to know if you got the right answer is you can use the um, inverse operation to undo each other. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So for example, this is the problem that we just did a few minutes ago. If I take the answer and I add it to this bottom number, I should get the top number. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 plus 3 is 12. Remember, I put my 2 here, I put my 1's place there, and I put my 1 up there. 5 plus 8 is 13 plus the one up above is 14 so I put my one here to carry and now I have four plus one plus one is four five six and then there and as you can see those match so I know that this was the correct answer just a way to use addition to check your answer now for some of you I know that um, writing the numbers on top of each other and being succinct is not necessarily um, easy for you. If you want, I do have graph paper similar to this in my cabinet, and you are welcome to use it to line up your numbers, but it's super important that we line them up. So in this particular incidence, we have 637,350. So now when I'm writing the second number, I need to make sure that my ones line up. So there's a two in the ones place a three in the tens, an eight in the hundreds, um, a three in the thousands, and a four in the ten thousands. If you don't, if you, 
you know, line it up and you write really sloppily and you, you know, put the four here, the three, the eight, the three, the two, that's going to give you a very different number. So you really, really, really need to make sure that you're lining these numbers up. It's, it's crucial when you're doing all math that you're keeping it straight. And if you need to use graph paper, by all means, use graph paper. So I cannot take the two. I can't take the two from the zero. Um, so I am going to have to uh, regroup. And in order to do that, I'm going to... So this is now going to become... 10 and that's so, because I'm taking a 10 or I'm taking one 10 away so now I'm left with four tens okay so 10 minus 2 is 8 4 minus 3 is 1 again I can't take 8 from 3 so I'm going to have to regroup so I'm going to take a thousand from here so I'm going to be left with 6,000 and it's going to give me 1,300 or 13. So 13 minus 8 is 5. And then over here I have 6 minus 3, which is 3. Again, I can't take the 4 from the 3, so I'm going to have to borrow. So this is going to become a 5, and this is going to become a 13. And 13 from 4 is 9. And then 5 from nothing is going to be 5. So my answer is 593,518. Sorry if that's not very readable, but it should be 5 nine three comma five one eight hopefully that's more legible okay i'm going to do a few more with you i know estimating for some of you is difficult but really estimating is just to kind of get you close so you can do the math in your head so for example this fourteen thousand six hundred and fifty nine is close to fifteen hundred and the eleven thousand five hundred eighty four is close to twelve hundred and fifteen hundred minus twelve hundred is 3,000. So your answer should be somewhere close to 3,000, but let's do the math. 9 minus 4 is 5. I can't take the 8 from the 5, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to borrow. So this is going to become 15, and this is going to become 5, because I'm borrowing from it, right? Or I'm regrouping. Sorry about that. So 15 minus 8 is 7. And then 5 from 5 is 0, 4 from 1 is 3, and then 1 from 1 is nothing. So I have 3,075, and as you can see, it's really close to my estimate. So let's keep, let's keep going. Um, again, this is, let's just go ahead and do the math. I'm not even going to do the estimating right now. So 2 minus 0 is 2, 1 minus 0 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 6 from 7, I can't do that, so I'm going to have to regroup. So this will be 16, because I'm going to take the 10 from here, and this is going to be 4, because I'm borrowing, or I'm, I'm regrouping. So 16 minus 7 is 9, 4 minus 3 is 1, and 4 minus nothing is going to be 4. So my answer is 419,112. Let's do one more. So again, I can't take a 2 from a 1, so I'm going to have to borrow. This one's tricky, though. This one's going to become a 10. Well, I can't regroup from here, and I can't regroup from there, but I can regroup from here. So every time I'm regrouping, um, i got to go all the way over here. So this one's going to be a 6, and um, this one would have been a 10, but I had to borrow it from here, so it's going to be a 9. This one would have been a 10, but I had to borrow it from here, so this one's going to be a 9. Um, kind of weird, I know. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. Again, I cannot take 8 from 0, so this is going to become a 10. I'm borrowing from here, making this be a 3. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So my answer is 222,349. Um, I do, I do want to do this one again because I know those zeros can be tricky. So let's do this one together really quickly. Um, so again, I can't take the 9 from the 0. So I'm going to borrow. This is going to become a 10. I can't, I, or regroup. I can't regroup 0, 10. So I've actually got to take it from the hundreds. 
And if I'm taking it from the hundreds, um, my, I'm now going to have two hundreds because I'm taking one hundred. Ninety of them are going to go here because I'm I'm borrowing from there. I know that sounds kind of weird, but if it's a, no matter if you've got a bunch of zeros in a row, you can't take them. So just like here, the first one becomes a ten, all the other zeros become a nine, and then you're taking it from here. So let's go ahead and do the math. Ten minus nine is one. Nine minus five is four. Um, I can't do the two here, so I'm actually going to have to borrow here. This is now going to become a 7. This is going to become a 12. Um, so 12 minus 6 is 6. I can't take 8 from 7, so I'm going to have to borrow again. This is now going to be 17, and this is going to become 8. So I have 17 minus 8, which is, which is 9. And then I have 8 minus 4, which is 4. And then I have 7 minus 3, which is 4. So my answer is 449,000. 641. I have a feeling that those zeros might trip you up a little bit more, so I am going to do one more like that. So I'll do number 7. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Um, 8 minus 0 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. And now I'm back over here. I can't take a 9 from this one. I can't regroup from here, so I'm going to have to regroup from here. So this is going to become a 2. This is going to become a 9, and this is going to become a 10. Because I, I, have to, I have to go all the way over here to regroup. I can't take from 0. So this would have been, if, I, if, if this didn't, part didn't exist, this would have been the 10, and I would have taken from there. But since I have to make this one be a 10, I'm taking from there, which means now it's a 9, right? Um, so 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 5 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's 141,980. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much on that. Um, if you do need help, I'm going to be on the carpet. I'm going to have you do the rest of them on your own. You can also work with a partner, but remember, I'm right there if you need me. So good luck.